of as the mud turns. These are the days of our lives as mud farmers. Stick around, it's about to get deep. And yes, I don't care who you are, that's punny. wash up before we head back out. Yeah. And here comes my chariot. My knighting, my knight in muddy armor. <laughs> morning I got to church and uh, I looked down <laughs> I looked down at my hands and I had not washed my hands obviously because there was mud all over them so anyway that was funny good thing good thing God doesn't care in fact I'm pretty sure he's very okay with us showing up to church dirty <laughs> Only slightly dangerous. This is where I'm scared I'm going to fall every day. See that? Oh. It's going to happen. I'm going to bust my tail. What you doing, baby? You laying in the sunshine. <laughs> you laying in the sunshine? Yes, mommy. But I can really use a belly rub right now. That would make it all perfect. It's a rough life, isn't it, girl? I know it is. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> time y'all and the wind is a whipping guess who left home without her mud boots muck boots me that would be me wasn't thinking all right 
line her up. There we go. Now we're gonna grab some feed. That ought to work, I reckon. I'm thinking about it. Somebody asked once what the capacity was for the grinder. There is a chart for that. So we have shelled corn. I'm reaching over here. Shelled corn full 4575. Wait. Yeah. 4575. That's pounds? Yeah. Okay. Two, two tons, over two tons. Alrighty, you're welcome. Hope you're watching whoever asked, <laughs> cause I don't remember, sorry. Alrighty then, not quite, oh, it's not quite full though. What does the nine mean? What do the numbers mean? Up to 12, up to 12? Huh? Oh, they're what, idiot numbers? numbers? Yeah, I think he said idiot. They're just numbers. One, he said 12 is full and one is not full. And we're at nine, so we're three quarters full. I know a little math. Oh yeah. Putting the trailer back, he's gonna leave it hooked up. He said tomorrow he's gonna put the rest of that corn that's in the trailer in the bin while it's dry and get it out of the trailer. Sounds like a good plan. And I would say dry is a relative term because it's obviously not dry. It's very sunny though. It's obviously not dry, but it's not raining. I'm pretty sure that's what he means. Hungry baby. I, oh, oh. There it is. There it is. Say good morning. Lashes for days. Tail wags for days. of uh, mud stickiness, like glue probably. It's starting to dry up just enough to be really sticky. I know those limbs bother y'all. I might, I might cut them off one day. See if we can make it out. Hey Panda. <laughs> Woo. Poor Bonnie gets to stay in the warm truck. <laughs> so riding, she's riding. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Well, it's time to go move some trough again. Yes, we have one trough that kept sliding down the hill, so we're gonna move them. I mean, he's gonna move them to a little bit drier ground. Try anyway. I just looked at the Farmer's Edge weather app and it says we're due for a quarter inch of rain today or tonight. <sighs> so, yeah.
Well, he's done with that and I missed it because I was looking at my phone. <laughs> anyway, plastic has moved back a little bit more. Slowly but surely the silage is going, going, gone. Oh wait, no, maybe it's not done. Okay. I know some of y'all like watching him use the back, eh? I do too. He's very talented with that thing. river runs through it. It feels like a river is running through our entire farm right now. Everywhere I look, <laughs> there's rivers. <laughs> He's pulling some down off the side. has it really bad and is also shedding horribly horribly and she also stays in the house so you can imagine what my floors look like they look like little balls of Bonnie everywhere Bonnie getting her exercise <laughs> we got another brand new one y'all Hey, Mama. It's a couple hours old. A little heifer. Hey, girls and boy. I shouldn't step in the mud and get muddy. <laughs> yeah. It's not possible, is it? Okay. 
three of us was fishing one night at the river and the other fella caught a big catfish, probably 25, 30 pound catfish. He was fighting him, trying to reel him in, had two lighter poles and two lighter lines. The other guy was a clown anyway. He said, keep a tight line, keep a tight line. And every time the fish was running, he said, give him plenty of slack, give him plenty of slack, keep a tight line, give him plenty of slack. <laughs> He didn't know what to do. He was about to go blind, trying to give him slack and keep a tight line, too. That's the story. That's the story. Okay, the rest of the story. Keep a tight line, give him plenty of slack. It was a fishing story, after all. All we know is we hear that saying all the time. Didn't really know where it came from. Now we know. All right, Bonnie. Here we go. We have fed up. We have fed up, and we are fed up. Just kidding. Actually, the mud is starting to dry up. But guess what's supposed to come later today? That's right. Rain. More rain. That's all right, though. It is what it is. All right. Thanks for being here. I'll try to get more stories out of him as I can. <laughs> He's got lots of them. He really does. Tell everybody, see you next time. See you next time. It's a rough life, isn't it, Bonnie? She said it's hard being a farm dog. <laughs> Let's go inside and find some hate. <laughs>